Hi crafters, it's Simply Pam and today I'm doing a birthday card for my nephew who's an avid basketball player and I decided to make a spinner card. I thought this would be really cool if I could have the basketball going into the basketball hoop. So my basketball hoop is a push it to see what size it is, that's funny. Okay, it's four inches and my basketball is, if I can highlight it, 3.5 inches. Now this is going to be my spinner card and you usually use the Stampin' Up um, straight, I don't know what it's called, but it's a label punch. And um, I'm using the smile, it's actually a smile, off of Snow, the Snow Friends Cricut cartridge. And it's at 28.17 inches. So this, and I hit the eyes, obviously, and just use the smile. And so my basketball, the goal is to have it spin and go up to here, and then my basketball hoop is going to be like right here, underneath it. I thought that would be really cool. So let's kind of put this together. Um, let me get my scratch paper here. My desk is really, really messy right now. Okay, so let's put the basketball together. And I'm just going to glue the... It's a little on the fragile side. Meaning fragile. All right. Okay, so there. And I'm going to put glue on here. Oh. I put glue on the wrong side. Let's see. What if I flipped it over? Okay, so let me put glue back on here. Okay, so I put glue on the wrong side. So what I just did was I flipped it over and um, so it's gonna be here instead. And I just, instead of it gonna be like this, I just flipped it over like this. So, put the little glue pieces off here. All right, so that's a bummer. All right. This is going to go all the way here. This needs to be like this. And I need to cut out some white paper. I was going to have orange behind it, but I decided to do white. Um, so it's going to be like this. Just so it doesn't look too Halloween. And then I'm going to have basket like this. And I'm going to glue this straight because I don't want it to get it in the way of the spin. So I'm going to put glue on all over this one. I'm going to glue the white part down. And we're going to put, you need to put this layer up on Pop Dot so the spinner can um, go. And I'm going to be using some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Okay. 
Okay. And how I got this to be exactly where I wanted it was I created a rectangle and I made a real dial size. So it's um, three, and a, three and a half by five inches. And then I put this smile where I, th I thought it would be. Okay, so now I'm going to make the um, spinner. So you get two pennies and put a dimensional in between. And making a sandwich. Then you can put another one on the outside. This is going to go on the basketball. Right, smack dab in the center. Okay, and now we're just going to thread this in. My head's going to get in the way here. Okay. Uh, it's too thick. So I need to put um, double the pop dots on here. I thought I might have, and I wasn't positive. Okay. Just going to do double pop dots. Okay, let's try this again. So, I think it's this actually. That's not. I think it's too narrow. Hmm. So the smile right here is a little too narrow. So I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. I'm just going to kind of go along. Okay, so that's perfect. So now get this stuff out of the way. Okay. So that works. It's not perfect, but it is fun for a boy. There you go. So here's the inside of my card. I did a um, orange letter layer, which is five and a quarter by three and three quarters, and the white layer is five inches by um, three and a half inches. And there's the basketball spinner card. So. All right, thanks so much for watching. Head on over to my blog, simply pan or no, simplypanscreations.com, and um, to see um, other projects I've made and and the products that I've used. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.